next round. It's geography. Who'd like to play this? Geography. I think, uh, I think that's my calling. Uh, All right, Alex. Okay. <laughs> Most definitely. And yeah. who would you like to play from the air kids? Daphne, Kevin or Judith? Uh, definitely. So we're going to pick Daphne. Okay. Let's have Alex and Daphne into the question room then. Alex, let's play this round then. Uh, geography. Would you like to go first or second? Um, I'd like to go second. Okay, Daphne, you're in first then. Here's your question. What are the three colours on the flag of Hungary? Red, white and green, red, yellow and blue, or black, red and yellow? I think it's red. I think, yeah. Red, white and green. It's the right answer. Red, white and green, the flag of Hungary. Okay, over to you then, Alex. Blakeney Point, noted for its colonies of breeding terns and regular grey and common seal sightings is in which English county? Lancashire, Cornwall or Norfolk? Well, I know you get a lot of uh, both kind of seals in the North Sea, so um, I would guess it was Norfolk, but I'm not 100% on that one. Yeah, I've had a trip out there myself. Well worth it. I could recommend it to you, Alex. Go and see the seals and Blakeney Point. In Norfolk, it's the right answer. OK, Daphne, second question to you. Which U.S. state is often informally referred to as Big Sky Country? California, Montana or Texas? Sky. Big Sky, yes. Don't know. Never heard it. Um, I'm just going to guess at Montana. Because I don't know. Why are you guessing at Montana then? I Any just inkling? I think it's not very well populated and... Probably lots of sky I don't know. Well, California and Texas are very big. They probably have lots of sky too. Yeah, probably. Uh, it is Montana though. Big is sky it? country is okay. correct. Bit of a struggle and I should tell you, Alex, that uh, Daphne Daphne lost last time she played <laughs> geography. Yeah. Well, Come on, Alex. She did quite so, well this time. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, Alex. Here's your second question. In Africa, what is the Harmattan? River, mountain, or wind? I, I believe um, that it's the Harmattan winds uh, blow down off the Sahara, so uh, wind. <laughs> OK, you seem to know the pronunciation better than me as well. The Harmattan, is it? And it's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> two to you and two to Daphne as well, though, but uh, might sort out a winner on this pair of questions. Yours first, Daphne. In which city would you find streets named for Dr. Finlay and Gordon Bennett? Paris, Beijing, or Moscow? Oh. I don't know why, but um, I'm going to go for Paris. Just got a vague feeling, something about Gordon Bennett, but I really haven't got a clue. Again, <laughs> for a change. Well, it's not having a clue. You've got the right answer again, Paris. OK, there we are. It means you've got to get this, Alex. In which Indian city could you sit on Chowpatty Beach overlooking Back Bay? Is it Chennai, Mumbai or Kochi? I, um, it's a bit of a guess, but I know Mumbai is by the sea. I don't know really anything about uh, Chennai and Kochi, so I'm going to guess for Mumbai. Mumbai, bit of a guess there. Not as good at it as Daphne. It's the right answer, Alex. Three all. High quality round. Uh, Daphne, sudden death, your question. Guadeloupe in the Eastern Caribbean Sea is an overseas region belonging to which country? Well, doesn't William Barras come from there originally? And he plays international football for France. So the answer's France. Now, aren't you impressed? I'm very impressed. You've been uh, <laughs> mugging up on your sport as well. Well, Arsenal especially. <laughs> <laughs> you can't curry favour with me, Daphne. Uh, uh, Guadeloupe is uh, an overseas territory of France. It is the right answer, as you well knew. Alex, Canada has shores on the Pacific, the Atlantic, and which other ocean? I'm pretty sure uh, it's the Arctic Ocean just to, given this, the, the fact that the, the Northwest Passage is opening up for, as a sea lane now, so I think it's the Arctic Ocean. It is the Arctic, that's absolutely right, Alex, well done. So there we are, you two, can't sort out a winner. Well, another sudden death question each. 
Daphne, what is the longest river on the Iberian Peninsula? Oh, Lord. <sighs> one of two. You know, I always guess the wrong one. <sighs> the Tagus. What's the other one you were thinking of? Ebro. It is the Tagus. Oh. <laughs> The longest river on the Iberian Peninsula is the Tagus. It flows westward across Spain and Portugal for 626 miles. OK, I thought you might have had a chance there to win it, Alex, but you've got to save yourself again with this one. What is the county town of East Sussex? Oh. Hmm. Do you know that part of the world, Alex? Not too well, not too well. Um, I, might, I might be wrong in even thinking that uh, it's in this county, but... Is it Hastings? Certainly is in the county, but it's not the county oh. town of East Sussex. It is, do you know Daphne? Is it Lewis? It's Lewis. Yeah. Lewis is the county town of East Sussex, which ends a highly competitive round. Very, very high quality quizzing from both of you there, and Daphne has just snuck through. Very bad luck, Alex. Would you both please come back and join your teams? Well, what a round, but it just wasn't to be for Alex. It means Free Cycle have now lost three brains from the final round. The Eggheads haven't lost any, and a last chance coming up now to knock one of them out. It's Arts and Books, and Carol and John, one of you to play this. Arts and Books. That, that yes, I think this was pre yeah. pre-decided. <laughs> I was on, on, on the piece of paper. Yes, <laughs> that was on the, the secret piece of paper. Recycled, I hope. Free cycled, of course. Free cycled. Free cycled. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol, who would you like to play from the Eggheads? It's uh, who's left? Kevin and Judith. Does anybody have a coin I can flip? <laughs> <laughs> Arts and books. Heads, it's Judith. You really are. Tail. Okay, tails. I guess it's Kevin. <laughs> We're going to go with that. Okay, right. Well, let's have uh, Carol and the three times world quiz champion Kevin into the question room, please. Carol. Do you want to go first or second? I think I'll jump into the breach and go first. Here you go, then. First question. The filmmaker Sam Wanamaker was instrumental in the construction of which replica Elizabethan theatre on London's Bankside in the 1990s? The Rose, the Swan or the Globe? This is going to be a tough one for me. Uh, the only one I'm really familiar with is the Globe, uh, which, of course, was the home of Shakespeare. Uh, in Elizabethan times, I would think that the globe would have been quite close to the Thames, so I'm going to have to go with the globe, I'm afraid. Okay, the globe. Yeah. Mounted a long campaign to uh, see it constructed there. It's the right answer, the oh. globe, yes. Okay, your first question, Kevin. In which year was the composer George Handel born? Is it 1685, 1785, or 1885? 1685, don't. 1685 is correct, Kevin. So back to you, Carol. Second question. Who wrote the novel Atonement, on which the 2007 film starring Keira Knightley is based? Sebastian Folkes, Julian Barnes, or Ian McEwan? I've not seen the film. I, it, uh, we don't get films out where I live. It's much too far out. I have seen it advertised uh, on television th with the trailers. I shall simply pick one out of a hat and try Julian Barnes. OK. Atonement was written by Ian McEwan. Oh. Ian McEwan. So, chance for Kevin to go into the lead. Kevin, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. There's a famous speech from which Shakespeare play, As You Like It, The Comedy of Errors or Twelfth Night. Oh, as it happens, I saw the, um, the new Kenneth Branagh film version of this quite recently. It's a speech by Jaquies, as you like it. So you have been to the movies, not that you wouldn't have known it anyway. Um, you've got the answer right, as you like it is correct. OK, you've got to get this then, Carol. What passing bells for these who die as cattle is the first line of which poem by the war poet Wilfred Owen? Strange meeting, futility or anthem for doomed youth? Well, obviously, it's dealing with young people, young men dying for absolutely no, re no reason. Uh, I'm going to take a chance and go with Anthem for Doomed Youth. I might be wrong. 
No, you won't. It's the right answer. Anthem oh. for doomed youth. <laughs> what passing bells for these who die as cattle by Wilfred Owen. OK, uh, Kevin, though, does have a chance because you didn't get your second one, Carol. Kevin has a chance to win it. Artist Lee Krasner was the wife of which 20th century abstract expressionist painter? Willem de Kooning, Jackson Pollock or Mark Rothko? I believe she was Jackson Pollock's wife. Yeah. Toning for losing. The last time he played it, it's the right answer, Kevin. You've won. Which means, Kevin, you will be appearing in the final round and Carol, you won't be there either. Dear, would you both please come back and join your teams? So, this is what we've been playing towards. It's time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So, Carol, Tony, Alex and John from Free Cycle, would you leave the studio, please? So, John, that leaves you playing to win Free Cycle £11,000. Eggheads, you're playing for something which money can't buy. The Eggheads' reputation. As usual, I'll ask each team three questions in turn. This time, the questions are all general knowledge, just to confirm that, John. And you are allowed to confer. John, the question is, is your one brain better than the Egghead's five? And, John, what do you want to do? Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second, please, Dermot. Eggheads, what is the name of the highest judicial body in the United States? The High Court, the Federal Court, or the Supreme Court? What is the name of the highest judicial body in the United States? Okay, that's the Supreme Court. And that's the Supreme Court. It is, Ed that is correct. The Supreme Court, the highest judicial body in the United States. So, John, your first question. The menorah, a curved, multi-branched candlestick, is used in the rituals of which religion? Islam, Judaism or Hinduism? The menorah, a curved, multi-branched candlestick, is used in the rituals of which religion? Well, li living near Golders Green, I, I see quite a lot of uh, candlesticks with multi-branches um, in various windows, so I would say it was Jude Judaism. Judaism. The menorah? Absolutely right, John. Good start. OK, Eggheads. Which country's name is poetically translated as Resplendent Isle? Sri Lanka, Madagascar, or Cuba. Which country's name is poetically translated as Resplendent Isle? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Um, that would be Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Resplendent Isle. That's correct, Eggheads. So, John, second question for you. A Korat is a pedigree breed of which animal? A rabbit, a dog, or a cat? A Korat, K-O-R-A-T, is a pedigree breed of which animal? Um, let's get through. I, I know a reasonable number of breeds of dog and can't think of, it's among them. Doesn't mean I'm right, but <laughs> um, cats I'm not sure about, but rabbits I know nothing about, so there's a fair higher chance of hitting it if I say rabbit. OK, trying to work it out that way, the one you have least knowledge of. Uh, a Korat is a pedigree breed. It's cat. Of cat. You're right about the dogs, but um, breed of cat. It means having put the eggheads in first, though, John, they've already got two correct. They can win it if they get this. Eggheads, which Italian site was voted as one of the seven new wonders of the world in 2007? The Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Grand Canal in Venice, or the Colosseum? Which Italian site was voted as one of the seven new wonders of the world in 2007? Um, we think it's the Colosseum. Colosseum. The Italian site that was voted as one of the seven new wonders of the world in 2007 is the Colosseum. It is the right answer, Eggedge. You've won. Well, John, it was always going to be tough after getting that second question wrong and you going second as well. But uh, some great performances from your teammates in those head-to-heads, but yeah. uh, it looks rather unbalanced in terms of them all sitting there and the Eggheads all, all being here. I thought those head-to-heads were really much closer.